Moon, Pisces, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces. I am Crystal, your high priestess. If you're new to my channel, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, you can also sign up to become a member to look at the extended. I do have the extended continuing. I know I have not been uh, present for that. I do apologize. So you can subscribe and resubscribe if you will. Okay, Pisces. So let's see. All the details is below to try to get me um, Saturdays off. If you guys are looking for anyone who is trying to switch providers and come to AT&T, you get $250 Visa credit card as well as a referral uh, for $50, all right? Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to take everything. Wow. We got the two of cups and uh, the king of cups here. If you can see that flu and we have the high priestess here as well. Um, what flew on the floor is the five of swords. So you do have a soulmate here brewing or you had a past or present soulmate Pisces, some of you guys in for my Pisces. This is definitely a Pisces energy with that King of Cups showing up here. The Two of Cups showing up in the upright. Someone do have a secret. Now, this could be your secret or someone else's secret that um, they do have this strong uh, feelings for you, but they're not revealing them. Um, also, there's a lack of trust here or trust issues, okay? You also have the Justice card and the King of Pentacles reverse. That that is definitely a uh, this is that is this is definitely a uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Libra here. We do have the Seven of Swords again, an energy of not trusting someone is not being truthful about how they really feel, and it could be definitely a strong feelings, but someone is not comfortable or maybe someone is lacking confidence to come forward here. You have a queen of suits. Now, this could also be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini female figure here or um, a strong-willed type of woman or someone who wear their, um, who don't wear their heart on the sleeve. Very kind of coldish energy. If you're dealing with the water sign, this water sign uh, could be a masculine, Pisces, Kiss, and Scorpio. They do not express themselves very well. Um, they keep it secretive if they do have feelings for you. You also have this moon. So you have the high priestess and the moon coming out. And the Six of Swords, it's like someone is trying to come forward, but someone is not, um, something is in the way with this uh, Six of Swords reverse the obstacles here. So it could be a secret crush or soulmate to your Pisces. Um, I'm going to reshuffle. We're going to keep the Two of Cups and the King of Cups here on the table. All right, so what do we got for Pisces? Some of the ones Now, I have been out of the game here with my tarot so the cards might fly around so just be prepared uh, for these cards to jump out of my hands right now what do we got for pisces wow okay see like i said it keeps jump it's going to jump out because i've been mia um so now we got the queen of swords the seven of swords and the seven and nine of cups which fulfillment i want my cake and i want to eat it too and then you have secrets so someone could be playing some type of manip manipulative manipulative game with you. Okay, someone could be manipulating some type of scenario. Or maybe someone is manipulative and not actually uh, telling you who they are. Okay, that's what I'm getting, like a hidden agenda. Let's see what it is. What is this, what is this energy for Pisces? I know it's love, but what is it spirit for Pisces? Someone has a That's what we got. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, a lot of seven. Seven could be a significant number for you, uh, Pisces. Uh, seven of Pentacles is reverse. It's about working hard and reaping what you sow. So eventually, you're going to see the hard work of your labors if it's about work. What else do we have for Pisces? Emperor. And you have that page of cups and apology here. Nine of Wands, defensive, someone at work. This could definitely be a working situation or someone who feels like they are high or maybe they are above everyone else. You could be dealing with an Aries. Um, and you have the lovers in the world here. So an apology that needs to be had, maybe with an Aries. Okay, it could also be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, let's see what else we have. Pisces. Wow, these cards, like I said, is going to jump around the moon again. Secrets. So, like, again, like I said before, this could be someone at work who secretly likes you or someone who has a secret crush who's afraid to tell you or someone has, you know, secret agendas. But let's see what else we're going to clarify. Any more cards for my Pisces? I, I mean, the hangman, high priestess. Okay, so feeling stuck. You could be dealing with someone with Pisces in the chart or someone who is a Pisces. Um, or just feeling like you're in limbo here with this hangman in reverse. A Pisces or someone feels stuck here. I also have the four pentacles, but not letting go. 
What is the future advice for my Pisces? Can you guys see the table? Okay. So another seven. Something you can't see. So you have the seven of cups. Okay, this is also about having on many options here. Um, Pisces, and you have that two of swords reverse. So having so many options, you don't even know who to choose. All right, maybe you're lacking trust. That is your your options to keep your maybe to keep your options open. All right, so you might do you might have too many options. You might choose the wrong option. You're not sure. What else do we have here? Three of Wands, turning your back or walking away from something. Uh, Pisces. All right, so walking away from some of these options. <laughs> what else do we have for my Pisces who got in love? Seven again. Wow, seven is definitely significant for some people. So you have the seven of wands. Uh, reverse, which I like, is like that defensive energy, breaking down the walls. Okay, learning to trust, okay, is what I'm getting. Let's see. I can't wait to get to the part now. So you do have the three of swords. Um, all right, let me see. Let's clarify. Who is this tool cut for my Pisces? Regarding love, we will do the partner next. Who is this soulmate for Pisces? This tool cups. High Priestess is you. So the High Priestess is here, Pisces. <laughs> I love it. The High Priestess. Let me get comfortable here. Um, so this is you, Pisces. Very something is secretive. Someone again. This is a positive reading. Um, regardless of the lack of trust. Someone is really in love with you or you have really strong feelings for someone and you're dealing with the Pisces or someone with Pisces cancer Scorpio on the chart and uh, They're not really expressing how they feel about you or something secretive at work But let me see Who is this king of cups for my Pisces why I jumped out and you have the lovers So it could definitely be a soulmate. You do have this ace of wands with someone you were uh, previously um, intimate with or um, someone you you had like a, a maybe a one night stand or a situation ship with, and this person didn't stay long or they didn't commit. All right, this person is thinking about you or you're thinking about them. Someone is missing that intimacy. That's why that is a long is reverse. Or you could have been falling out of love with someone you were intimate with, or someone fell out of love with you. Uh, yeah. So look at the three of swords, page of swords, and six of swords. A whole bunch of pain and agony here. Um, just the resource is reversed, so it could have been someone who hurt you. Okay, now this person or you were thinking about them. All right, um, let's see what else we got. Spirit, lots of seven of pentacles. So you have three seven, seven of pentacles, seven of wands, and the seven of cups. Who's the seven of pentacles? Three of Pentacles reversed. So this is about working together, building, turning your back on work, quitting a job, or quitting a relationship. Okay, definitely that's that's your energy, Pisces. Three of Pentacles is about collaboration, working. Okay, um, it is reversed, which I like because, um, but in in a sense, maybe you're not interested in working with people who hurt you, or you don't want to rebuild this relationship. Oh yeah, look at that tower moment. And then here's the eight of wands. No blocked energy or some type of message being blocked. Let's see what's going on. Why is this nine of wands? Oh, that's the three of swords again. And the page of swords again, even after I shuffled. So this three of swords is someone who is regretting what the fuck they did to you. And they should regret that because they are feeling that agony and the loss of this relationship. Nine of Wands. Can't wait to get to the part now. That Three of Swords jumped out again, Pisces, y'all. Oh, no, that's the Nine of Swords. Crazy with Gemini. Someone could have came in quickly and ran out quickly. All right? And maybe this is your energy, Nine of Wands, on guard, not trusting this person back into your life because of the screw-ups and fuck-ups or the lies and deceptions that they have um, done to you. Who is this Emperor? This could be you, becoming an Emperor and not taking no shit. Who is this Emperor? No, page of wands so an apology but you're like i don't want you to tell me i want you to show me type of energy all right pisces or this person wants to apologize just to get back into your graces or get back into your warm bed who is the moon for pisces why is this secret here for pisces mm, interesting that coin now it kind of flipped around but i'm not sure how i should present this but i'm going to reshuffle 
have commitment, someone could have had commitment issues or secrets about some type of finance. What's the secret for Pisces? Okay, um, Hermit, again, going in, going within, okay, Hermit mode, uh, not communicating, ghosting, silence, okay, this could be your energy, Pisces, um, let's see, why is the hangman, this is your reading, ooh, okay, so you got the ten of swords, some type of pain here, agony, alright, sleepless nights, tired of fighting and arguing here, all right, some Pisces are going through that. Why is the hangman feeling stuck for Pisces? Why is Pisces here? The karma, that will of karma is that money coming back in. So someone who could have been take, trying to take money out of your pocket or trying to take a commitment, a relationship that spirit deemed necessary for you and someone got in the way. Spirit is going to give that person karma. Someone is receiving some type of karma here. Hangman, the will of karma. All right, so karma is coming back. It's a cycle, it's a completion. All right, um, I see that Will of Karma as an ending to all of this agony and pain and secrets. All right, so let me move forward and see what that Seven of Cups is for your future. It's like having a lot of options or open up your options and get rid of this agony. Who is the Seven of Cups? That's your advice. King of Coins, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy here. So you do have a Taurus Capricorn Virgo Pisces, which I do love. Um... Is about commitment and stability here. So you might have someone who's committal. You got to get rid of that non-committal relationship. If you are dealing with someone who has commitment issues, get rid of that person or if it's you. All right. So I see the lovers and then the six of wands jumped out as well as the knight of coins. So if you're dealing with a younger uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo, this person do have feelings for you, um, but they need to show you. Okay. So that's what I'm getting from that. Why is the three of wands here? Who is this? Ouch. Ouch. My goodness. All right, Pisces. So this is ten of swords. This is betrayal. This is backstabbing. Um, someone. Where's my water? I need my water. Someone could be betraying you or trying to betray you. To betray you. But you have that will of karma. So, um. Oh, you could be still another Pisces who uh, you hurt or they hurt you. Okay, on a crazy for Gemini, that could be anyone. You have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, crazy for Gemini, Aries, Aries, Set. Everyone is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorp, Virgo, <clears throat> a Sagittarius with that wheel. Another Pisces with that hangman as well. Who is the Seven of Wands for Pisces? Okay, you have the Knight of uh, Cups. I like the Knight of Cups reverse just because. Spirit is leading you, Pisces, to make a good decision about where you want to go. So do not let down your guard and fall and fall uh, prey to this energy. Someone could be preying on you. Someone could be draining your energy, okay, causing you to feel like this at night. Or even when they leave your presence, you may become fearful of what, what are they really doing behind your back. What are they saying behind your back? Um... But you do, I do love this soulmate, but for some reason that soulmate uh, might have some secrets. Alright, so what's the future advice for Pisces? <clears throat> Clint, trying to get past these obstacles. Six of Swords, I think Pisces, and it's not, you're, you're literally the reverse of the Six of Swords. So you're not really moving to calmer waters. And then you have this Seven of Cups reversed. Releasing some of these options. You have too many options. All right. Um, let me get one more. I'm getting like someone is a bad seed. All right. So then you have the Knight of Cups. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, as well as the King of Swords. What fell on my lap is the Emperor. Someone at work. It could be a boss or an Aries energy. You have the Queen of Swords. So now you do have a couple. This could be a soulmate energy. You have a lot of people to choose from, Pisces, is what I'm getting. <clears throat> Let's do one more. It's reading Judgment Karma's here. Five of Wands and the Sun. Someone could be trying to cause some type of, cause you to be unhappy and stay in the dark, is what I'm getting. Someone doesn't want you to be happy, is what I'm getting. All right, so let's see what the soulmate has. 
I say that someone that's attracted to your partner, your partner is a very attractive, or someone sees you as very beautiful and someone doesn't want you to feel or be beautiful, all right? Um, even though people, yeah, people are still doing that. Someone want people to not like you, okay, is what I'm getting from this reading. Conflict, and I see some darkness. All right, Pisces, let's see what the partner want to tell you. 